Hi friends, welcome. My name is Risa. Today's class, we are going to focus on strengthening our legs. If you enjoy activities like hiking, running, or climbing, it will help to improve your performance, but also simply beneficial for everyone to connect with the body and mind. Please modify or intensify as you need in this class. Have a good practice. Stand up on the top of your mat. Bring your feet together or separate your feet about hips width. Relax your shoulders. Spread the toes really wide. Press in the big toes, pinky toes, and heels evenly into the mat. Find in the stability in your standing posture and bring your right hand on your belly, left hand on your chest. And let's take cleansing breath together. Empty your lungs. Big inhale through your nose, expand your belly. And exhale, open mouth, side it out. <sighs> One more time, inhale through your nose, taking the new fresh energy in your body. And exhale, open mouth, let the stresses, worries go. Last one here, inhale through your nose. Exhale, letting all go. Well done, release your arms by your side. Now breathe in and out through your nose and notice how you feel emotionally after taking a cleansing breath. And let's start moving our bodies now. Separate your feet a little bit wider than your hips and bend your knees and come to half chair pose. Bring your hands on your thighs, fingers are pointing inward, standing cat and cow. Inhale, open up the chest, bring your shoulders back and exhale, round your spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades closer. Exhale, round the spine, drawing the navel towards the spine. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. And keep going at your own pace. Move freely without thinking too much. Just warming up the spine. And on your next inhale, come back to neutral back. And as you exhale, fold forward, soften the knees a lot. And let's grab the opposite elbows and relax your head and neck. Maybe shake it out. You can sway the body side to side, releasing the old tension from your low back. Letting all go here. Fingertips on the mat. As you inhale, come all the way up, arms up, and exhale, bring your hands at your heart center. Release your arms by your side and bring your feet together. On your next inhale, reach your arms up and you know, let the fingers, release the index fingers, squeeze your biceps to your ears and inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, bend your body to the right side. You can bump the hips to the left and keep reaching the fingertips to the right side. Lean back a little bit. And as you inhale, slowly come back and exhale, bend your body to the left. Same thing here, biceps to your ears. Squeezing the glutes and push your hips a little bit forward. Lift the chin slightly. Good. And as you inhale, slowly come all the way back to the center. Exhale, bring your hands on your low back or gentle back bend. Inhale, lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades closer. Exhale, push your hips forward. Look up. Or look back if that's okay for your neck. Good. Keep lifting the chest. No forcing here. Listen to your body. Inhale. 
inhale slowly come up exhale release your arms by your side inhale arms up exhale fold forward hinge your hips inhale come halfway up flat back exhale chaturanga dandasana step back hug the elbows in and come halfway down inhale back bend over your choice and exhale downward facing dog and you can pedal your legs right left right left just to warm up your hamstrings noticing the sensation in your legs in your back Eventually, find the stillness in downward dog, letting the heels be heavy. And as you inhale, lift your right leg high towards the sky, three leg dog. Exhale, half scorpion, bend the right knee to open up the hip. And draw a big, slow circle with your right knee, moving from your hip joint. And go to the other direction after a couple times loosen up the muscle inhale the real leg dog straighten your right leg exhale bring your right knee towards your right elbow round in the spine and upper back inhale the real leg dog lift up exhale right knee to your left elbow inhale lift up again exhale knee to your nose this time we're gonna stay for a couple breaths keep lifting the knee as high as you can and flex your foot and step forward between your hands slowly release your left knee down bring your right foot all the way back to the bottom side of the mat plunge your left hand slice your left shin to the side and plunge your right foot on the mat modify side of plank bring your right hand on your waist engage the belly maybe reach the right arm towards the sky and lift your right leg high parallel to the ground flex your right foot tuck the tailbone in reach your left arm over your head next to your left ear and as you exhale tap the right toes down to the mat really lightly inhale lift up exhale to tap inhale lift exhale tap inhale lift and stay engage the belly and as you exhale release your right hand right foot down use your core to lift your left knee into your chest and step through between your hands and walk your hand to the right side of your mat for goddess pose bring your legs straight and toes out heels in bend the knees about 90 degrees Bring your hands on your thighs, lift your upper body up. Okay, weight on the heels, turn your knees outward. You can bring your hands at your heart center, maybe shift your weight side to side. And find the stillness in the middle, sinking the hips down. Okay, find ease, inhale, straighten your legs. Exhale, bring your hands on your waist, toes, inhales out wide, leg forward fold. And as you inhale, lift your chest, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Hands can be anywhere you like here. You can practice any variation. Sucking the stomach in deeply. And as you inhale, fingertips on the mat, halfway up. Exhale, walk your hands to the top of your mat, bring your toes with you. And as you inhale, lift your right leg high parallel to the ground. You can float the fingertips if you find the stability here. Lower your right hip down a little bit to square the hips. Release the fingertips. As you step your right foot all the way back, pull on your hands, step the left foot back, vinyasa flow. Chaturanga, inhale back bend of your choice, exhale downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high towards the sky, exhale, half scorpion, bend your left knee to open up the hip and draw a big slow circle with your left leg, couple times one direction and the other. 
inhale, lift your left leg high towards the sky, three-legged dog, exhale, bring your knee to your left elbow, inhale, lift up again, exhale, knee to your right elbow, twist, inhale, lift up, exhale, knee to your nose, lift in the knee as high as you like, good, stay with your breath, flex your left foot, step it through between your hands, slowly release your right knee down, and step your left foot all the way back, slide your right shin to the right side, plant your right hand, and left foot down, modify side plank, engage the belly, lifting the left leg high parallel to the ground, reach the left arm up and forward next to your left ear, flexing your left foot. And as you exhale, tap the left toes down really lightly. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Squeeze in the glutes. Stay. Exhale, slowly release the left hand. Left foot down. Come back to the center. Use your core to lift your right knee. And step it through and walk your hands to the left side of your mat both legs straight toes out heels in goddess pose again bend the knees a lot knees above your ankles hands on your thighs lift yourself up Good weight on the heels maybe this time bring your arms to the side bend the elbows palms facing up shift your weight side to side let the movement flow and then find the center, sink in the hips one inch deeper. Nice job, inhale slowly, come up, straighten your legs, toes, inhales out. Hands on your waist, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. This time let's grab the big toes with your first two fingers. And use your exhalations to pull the upper body down. You can soften the knees as much as you need to. And as you inhale, halfway up, fingers on the mat. Exhale, walk your hands to the top of your mat. Bring your toes with you. Inhale, lift your left leg high, parallel to the ground. Balancing pose here. You can lighten the fingers or float. Your choice. Square the hips, lift in the chest. Good, strong legs. Nice job, and release the fingertips on the mat. Step your left foot all the way back, pull on your hands. Step your right foot back, vinyasa flow. Or skip to downward facing dog, you decide your practice. We're gonna meet in downward facing dog. Taking a moment here. Inhale, lift your right leg high, three leg dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands, place the back heel down, warrior feet. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, bend the right knee a lot. Tuck the tailbone in, relax your shoulders, gaze towards your right fingertips. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm up and back. Keep bending the right knee. Open up the side of the body in your right side. Exhale, trikonasana, straighten your right leg. Reach your right arm forward and down. Left arm up. Both legs strong. Squeeze in the left glute and left thigh quadricep. Pressing the shoulder blades forward towards the chest. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach the right arm up and back again. Exhale, bend the right knee, bring your right fingers in front of your right toes, left hand on your waist, step the left foot one or two steps forward, half moon pose, slowly lift your left leg up, stack your left hip on your right hip. Keep the fingertips on the mat, or you can float, or you can lift your left arm towards the sky. Gaze down or forward, your choice. Good. Trust your right leg. 
the standing leg, keep breathing, find the balance, release the right fingertips on the mat, bend the right knee, step your left foot back, inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, curve your arms, hands on the top of your mat, plant your hands, step off, float your right leg back, vinyasa flow, one leg chaturanga, inhale, upper dog, exhale, downward dog, find your stillness, reset, inhale, lift your left leg high, exhale, step it through, between your hands, place the back heel down, warrior feet, inhale, warrior two, open up your arms, exhale, sink the hips down, bend the left knee, turning the left knee a little bit out to the side, shoulder blades closer to open up the front side of the chest inhale reverse warrior feeling the side body stretch straighten your front leg exhale triangle left arm down right arm up Good. pressing the knife edge of your right foot into the mat micro bend your left knee if you have a hyperextension. Enjoy this posture. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach the left arm up and back, open up. Exhale, bend the left knee, bring your left fingertips in front of your left toes, right hand on your waist, step the right foot a little bit forward, and lift your right leg high, stack your right hip on the left as you straighten your left leg. Keep kicking the right leg back, maybe reach the left arm up, float the right fingertips if you find a stability here. Focus on the gaze and breath. You might feel shaky and that's completely okay. Enjoy this posture. Slowly step your right foot back, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cover your arms, hands on the mat. Step or float your left leg back, one leg chaturanga, vinyasa flow, or skip to downward dog. Your choice. And slowly release your knees on the mat, child pose. Open the knees wide, bring your toes to touch. Release your forehead down on the mat. Relax the shoulders, relax in the hips. Notice your heartbeat after doing some challenging poses. Notice and let go. And slowly come back to tabletop and open the legs as wide as you can for wide legged or the full seated variation. Flex or point your toes, it's your choice, lengthen the spine. Reach your right arm towards the sky and exhale, bend the body to the left as you reach your left arm to the right side, opposite direction. Inhale, come up and exhale, bend the body to the opposite direction. Keep opening up the chest and repeat the same movement here a few times. Moving with the breath, use your inhale to lift up and use your exhale to bend the side body stretch. Also feel the stretch in your inner thighs and hamstrings. time when you're bending the body to the right let's stay here for a few breaths to deepen the stretch and switch side and again a few breaths breathing into the right side of the body inhale come back up on your next exhale fold forward you can put your hands on your waist or release your arms in front of you 
go as far as you like, doesn't matter how deep you can go here. And as you inhale, slowly come back up. Use your hands and bring your legs forward and shake them out, up and down, up and down, or right, left, right, left. And slowly lie down on your back. Relax your arms and relax your legs. Bring your right knee to your chest. Put your right hand on your right shin and as you exhale, open up to the right side or you can grab the right big toe with your right two fingers and straighten your right leg first towards the sky and open up to the right side whichever you prefer gaze to the left side you can put your left hand on your left hip to press it down towards the floor to square the hips Soften the face and slowly come back to the center and switch your hand and send your right knee over the left side, twisting the left. Open your right arm, gaze to the right. Your right knee doesn't have to touch the ground. Focus on bringing the shoulders down on the ground. And slowly come back to the center both knees into your chest you can circle the knees one direction and the other to massage your back and let's switch side release the right leg down and forward keep bending the left knee left hand on your left shin and open up to the left or again if you want to different variation grab the big toe with your left two fingers straighten your leg towards the sky and open up to the left right hand on your right hip gaze to the right shoulder breathe into the left hip and leg Slowly bend your left knee, release the hand and come back to the center, switch your hand, send your knee over the right to wrist, open your left arm, look to the left. Notice any sensations in your body and slowly come back to the center, both knees into your chest, happy baby pose, open the knees wide, grab the bottom of your feet, you can rock your body side to side. Keep the low back on the ground, whole back is flat. Well done, and invite yourself to a final resting pose. You can give yourself a big morning stretch if you like. Release your arms by your side. Take as much space as you need. Close your eyes. Feel the heaviness of your eyelids. If your tongue is still touching the roof of your mouth, let go to relax your jaw. And allow yourself to relax fully. Thank yourself for taking care of yourself today on your mat. And thank you very much for sharing your practice with me. I'll see you in next class.